Alors bonjour, on se retrouve aujourd'hui aux Pays-Bas, donc en compagnie de Sitze, qui est notre nouveau commercial sur ce pays, voilà, et en compagnie de Maki, qui est un de nos nouveaux sponsors belges. Donc aujourd'hui, ça va être une découverte de la pêche sur les bordures et un mix bordure verticale, voilà, selon comment ça va se dérouler. Donc Sitze et Maki vous donneront leurs impressions, leurs techniques, pour vous expliquer un petit peu le déroulement de la journée, comment ils voient ça et ce qu'ils vont faire. Alors voilà, on, est, on a essayé ce matin sur le lac plus bas, on a essayé de pêcher les, les plateaux entre 1m50 et 2m. On a essayé de faire de la perche mais rien n'a donné. Si on vient d'arriver sur une zone pour, pour faire une dérive en verticale, moi je pêche en verticale et puis lui il pêche en linéaire le long de la cassure et puis ben, quelques mètres de dérive et puis ben, je viens de prendre un poisson. Voilà, suivant. Touche. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Thank you. All right. Difficult day. Started casting the shallows for perch. Sadly, it didn't work. So now we're about vertical fishing and casting a very slow retrieve. And he hit it just after I lifted from the bottom. The bakuri had with a very nice natural color. The water is murky, but the fish are difficult. So sometimes you need to fish a little bit more natural. Very light jagged, slow retrieve, small fish, but it's safe today. Ça, je peux te le dire, c'est coffret. Ah ben voilà. Ben j'ai été un petit peu surpris, je vais pas te le cacher, mais euh, j'ai accéléré un petit peu avec le bateau pour donner un petit peu plus de, de vitesse. Ainsi mon, mon leurre euh, plane un peu plus derrière le bateau. Parce que j'ai remarqué qu'en vertical pur, euh, ben on prend pas de touche depuis tout à l'heure. Donc, euh, donc ben on augmente un petit peu la vitesse pour avoir un petit peu plus de planance. Et puis euh, on verra si ça continue à donner du poisson. Je vais remettre un petit coup d'attractant. What a strike. Cartouche. <laughs> really good strike. Small fish, but... Bien go big. <laughs> Kill. All right. Second fish of the day for me. It's not easy, we moved a little bit deeper. We spent the day fishing uh, the, the, um, the shallower parts, but the fish were not home or not biting very much. 
Again, not the biggest of the lake, but when the strikes are like this, it's very much fun. Same pattern with the Bakuri head and the Hazedong shed from Megabus. Thank you. Winning pattern. Something to keep in mind while fishing for Zender, especially like a day on today. As you can see, it's quite busy. There's boats, there's belly boats. And for me, especially when casting, it's very similar to vertical fishing. When vertical fishing, you're almost keeping it still above the bottom. And a lot of the anglers, they only cast and they jig. They jig and they jig and they jig. And what I like to imitate uh, when fishing uh, casting with soft baits is the same action just above the bottom very slowly. So I cast, I let it sink, and just with the reel or with the rod real slow, I will move it, make sure it's about 10, 20, 30 centimeters, depending on the conditions above the bottom, and you can fish really slow. For this type of fishing, it's very important to use a very supple lure, like in this case the Megabus, the Hazedong with the Bakuri head. The type of jig head for this type of fishing is very important as well. Uh, with a round head or with just a standard football head, it will not get the perfect uh, swimming uh, flanking action. And with the Madness Bakuri head, it does. So it's something to keep in mind. If the fish are not biting, stop jigging and start fishing linear just above the bottom. A very slow retrieve can save your day. Of course, everything starts with a cast. The length, of course, depending on the conditions. You let the lure sink to the bottom. In this case, it's about eight, nine meters, so it takes a while. Not fishing too heavy, the lighter the better. And the thing most people will do when they hit the bottom, reel, 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 and wait which can work of course, everything works on, it, on its given day. But especially when the fishing is difficult, wait till you hit the bottom again. Use really slowly, only moving your rod, pick up the slack. And when you know you almost hit the bottom, you move your rod again. What this does, this will extend the sinking downward phase of your lure. And of course, that's when you get the strike. If you only do this and then wait, the downward phase of the lure will be very short. If you know your sink rate of your lure very good and the proportions of your jig head, you just move your rod, you can almost keep it perfectly in that strike zone without touching the bottom too much. Sometimes you have to wait to see if you're still on the bottom, but usually if your material is very well adjusted, you can just follow the bottom super nicely and get some good strikes. soft strike again. All right. And it's definitely a pattern that they only want the hazard on with the bakery head. Same goes for my vertical fishing colleague. Almost all the fish today, almost all the fish today. Bakuri, Bakuri head, and the haze dome. Very natural color. Water is murky, but the sun is shining. Let's uh, see if we can make them even more bigger. 
Good man. Perfect. Bon, ce qu'on vient de faire là maintenant, c'est qu'on a remarqué qu'on prenait plus de touches en vertical. Alors on s'est, on s'est plutôt tapé sur le talus, vraiment en bordure de cassure. Et euh, en fait, là, sous le bateau, on a 9 mètres. Et ensuite, si on prend un petit peu plus loin, ben, on a le chalot qui est à 4 mètres. Alors on, on est vraiment positionné sous la cassure. On lance sur la cassure même, on ramène. Et puis, euh, et puis on essaye d'intercepter les poissons qui sont, qui sont positionnés justement sur la cassure parce que les poissons sont vraiment difficiles à intercepter parce qu'ils sont, sont vraiment calés sur la cassure. Donc euh, j'ai copié euh, l'idée qui est là, j'ai mis un as donc et puis ici je viens de rentrer un poisson euh, en quelques lancers. C'est pour toi ça Je suis heureux, merci. De rien, de rien. Très gentil. Dans le couchon. <rire> Come on, poisson. All right, so, day is almost finished. We're back on the shallows, throwing twitch baits, throwing chatter baits, trying to provoke a very big and very angry pre-spawn perch or zander. It has been a very difficult day. Air pressure has been all over the place the last couple of uh, days. Uh, the water went from murky to clear. So the zander were not really playing ball. We had a couple of fish linear, uh, vertical. Uh, this morning we started the same way as we're doing now. Uh, we started uh, casting the shallows with twitch baits, with reaction baits uh, to try and trigger a response. Uh, sadly, it did not work. They, like I said, the day is almost finished. And You never know with this type of fishing, you can always go from zero to hero. Uh, the, it's end of March, so it's uh, like I said, pre-spawn fishing. Fish are big, fish are heavy, and fish can be very aggressive at this time of year. Um, so that's why we're fishing the shallows, because they are ready to make nests. Uh, I do not think the nests are already here yet, uh, otherwise I would not like to fish on them. Uh, but it can happen anytime. So, You have to be angry, you have to be fast. So, chatter bait with a big uh, uh, curly, the X layer from Megabuzz, BKS from Tackle House, something that provokes a heavy reaction. Fish fast, fish shallow, and hope that something happens. Perch. Et puis ça? Come on, boy. Make me happy. Hard work pays off. It's not the 50 I was hoping for, but as you can see on the belly, I was talking about pre-spawn fish. This is definitely a pre-spawn perch. On the vision, good strike, very shallow. I think the boat is in 1.7 at the moment and the fish could not have been deeper than a meter. Really cool, very happy with it. Makes a tough day, worth all the effort and the early start. Let's get this beauty back as fast as possible. Right, there it goes. But like I said, we're fishing very shallow with the Vision, or the Vision 110 as we call them in the Netherlands, or the 110, or whatever you want to call it. It's probably one of the most famous baits from Megabus. This is the normal version because we're fishing super shallow, especially in the Netherlands, on the big lakes, on the rivers. Uh, people use the plus one or the plus two. Um, but here, the normal one is, goes deep enough. Uh, one thing that's very important that I see a lot of people do wrong with jerk baits in general. First, you cast. Like everything, it starts with a cast. Depending on your spot and depending on which version you use, you give it a few cranks to get to the depth and then you start twitching. The twitching is where most people go wrong. The Vision 110, like most other jerk baits, needs a lot of slack. So if you jerk and you keep your rod in the same position, it will not um, move correctly. It will just do very little movements and you want it to go as wide as possible. So if you just do this, 
it will do nothing or not what you want it to do. So very important, if, if you twitch, you go back straight away. Use a bright line. Usually you don't even feel the bites, you just watch the line. And you can see your line move. So you twitch and you go straight back. If you hold the rod, if you hold it like this, it's almost impossible to go back. You have to go really weird movements. Keep it very loosely in your fingers. Twitch and let it almost bounce back on the lure itself. This will give it the, the, the necessary amount of slack and it will help with a very wide movement and a very wide movement also helps with staying in the same position. A lot of jerk baits on the market, they do this and this. What you want is to do this and this so you have more twitches per meter or per spot you're fishing to stay as long as possible on your spot. Especially oh. when you're fishing ah. with the suspending version. Ton cendre. Ah. <rire> tu l'as pris pour moi <rire> S'il te plaît. Merci. Right. Again, not the biggest fish. As you can see on the belly, the theory came into practice. Nice sander. Actually, I think it's the biggest sander of the day after a lot of soft bait fishing. And again, on the very bright colored twitch bait. As you can see, it's hooked on the bottom. So it was not very motivated and it was just purely aggression, um, which is very normal this time of year. Uh, this sander, same as the perch, 1.7 meters is the boat. And I think it came from very shallow water. So very happy with that, together with the perch. And it's very hard to beat catching Zender on hard baits. All right, we're still on the shallows, still fishing jerk baits. Uh, this time we're fishing two different jerk baits and there's a very big difference between those jerk baits. Um, Mikey is fishing from Tickle House, the BKS or the K10, how you want to call it. Um, it's originally a salt water lure, uh, meant for sea bass in Japan and in France and the Netherlands as well. But it's proven really, really good for fresh water too. Um, it catches zander, it catches perch, it catches pike. Uh, for zander and perch, you mainly uh, twitch it, same as my 110. Uh, but there's a very big difference, uh, as he will show you. Uh, first of all, in the rods, I'm fishing a very light rod, very short rod, uh, with a soft tip. And for the BKS, you need a very powerful rod. It needs to be fast, it needs to be strong. You have to twitch really hard. With the 110, I just explained, uh, you have to use a lot of slack. With the BKS, it's more a matter of force. Uh, to get the correct action than it is to use um, a lot of slack. So it's a very different way of fishing. Uh, it has a different action, but it uh, serves the same purpose. And that's catching, uh, hopefully, some very big, very big uh, pre-spawn fish. Bon, c'est ça. Ça a été difficile. Ouais. On a quand même réussi à faire un tout petit peu de poisson. On a vraiment eu dur à rentrer du poisson au matin, mais bon, euh, en après-midi, on, on a rentré quelques poissons. Et puis là, vers la fin de journée, ça a été bien pour toi. Hein. T'as rentré des, des beaux poissons. Always good fishing here. Ouais, t'as bien pêché. As, on n'a rien lâché. On a continué, on essaye encore. Mais bon, la journée arrive à son terme, donc il faut bien arrêter un moment. All right. It might have been one of the last casts of the day. Uh, as you maybe can see, uh, the cameraman had to put on the light. The day is almost finished. Coup de soir, as my French colleagues would say. It's been a really difficult day, as, my, uh, as Mikey just explained. Um, but in the end, with a lot of persistence and very technical fishing, uh, we managed to make a very good uh, uh, end of the day. And hopefully in the last bit of light, a small miracle can happen. But after all, it was very nice. It's a cool day on the water. It's a very nice place to fish with a very nice tackle, a very nice people. And see you next time. Mm -hmm.